Hey everybody, welcome to tonight's recap of Hill's Kitchen. Oh, last time, Shorty Craig was sent home. Oh, he was such a crybaby. He was angry. Vanessa has to go see a plastic surgeon for her badly burned hand. <sighs> That just gives me the creepies. Yeah, she's got it all wrapped up and with like a... Uh, How can you even do anything in the kitchen like can't. that? I know, you can't get it wet, you can't get it near the food. No, because I'd be like, ew. <sighs> well, so, yeah. it's time to do that little short challenge first. Yeah, each team... Well, first Ramsey brings out his like $200 pizza from White his truffle restaurant. pizza. And Holy it looked crap. delish. I'll yeah. take three. So <laughs> get 600 bucks? No. I didn't think so. Alright. So Maybe each he'll team, call me one. Maybe. Each team has to create an upscale pizza, and they have over 130 ingredients to choose from. That's right. Some of them are quite exotic, mm -hmm. and some of them are quite run-of-the-mill. So they each made a pizza, and then each of the teams were to pick one to represent the entire team. Mm -hmm. So... Matt is pretty pissed at his team for not talking it up. Yeah, he's like, guys, what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> or... I can't even do it. Yeah, yeah it's more like that. So, uh, the men decided to pick Ben's pizza. They or were Ben like decided to pick Ben's pizza. Really down to the wire. Right. They didn't have that many to choose from. No. He, ha he made a duck confit. I don't know what that is. But it's anyway. Fancy schmancy, that's all you need to know. Then the women decided to choose Jen's pizza, which was a little bit of Italy and, and a, a little, little bit, bit of, of France. France. A little bit of mambo. <laughs> Number five. Yeah. So, yeah, Ben didn't clean his mushrooms very well. His pizza was gritty. Nobody likes dirt in their mouth. Mm -mm. So Especially not Ramsey. He certainly couldn't pick him for, to be the winner, so it's he the picked ladies Jen. ladies won. That's right. <laughs> and they got to go to dinner with Chef Gordon via a helicopter. I think the restaurant was in, like, Santa Barbara. Santa Barbara, that's right. <laughs> so the men's punishment... Now take it, was that they had to prep all of the pizza ingredients yeah, for tomorrow's service. Jen's winning pizza would become part of the menu, a special. So Lou Ross was like broken down and crying with a towel over his head. And they gave him a hard time. I don't know if it was just because he was upset about losing or because someone made the comment to him that his pizza was like... Oh, like a bad takeout or something Basically like, like Pizza Hut. Yeah, Pizza Hut. Piece of shack, they yeah, said. Shack. And you know what? That's not cool. No. Even if he was crying because he was upset, real men do cry. <laughs> they really do. So, yeah, the women were enjoying their expensive burgers. I thought Ramsey said they were like $90. They were. Whoa. They got the men basically a sack of soggy old burgers that just didn't even have cheese on them or anything. Uh, I need a, at least a slice of Just sharp a cheddar. patty and like a stale old bun. Here, yeah, here's your dinner. Psh, psh. Yeah. <laughs> so then the ladies came back from the restaurant and everybody was prepping for service. Right. And sorry, <laughs> Vanessa was like, Wow, I can't really do anything. So she I'm decides go to go to, Je to Gordon, to Jeff. <laughs> I think it's Jeff. Not Gordon. Survivor. Ugh. Jeff Proops. I'm, yeah, he's on my mind. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, she's like, Ramsey, what am I supposed to do? So in the end, she decides that... Well, he said she could stay if, if she <laughs> wanted. I don't know what she was planning on doing, putting her hand in a garbage bag or something and I cooking. Don't know. She said if she couldn't be there 100%, she didn't want to be there at all. I don't blame her. So she decided it's time for her to go. She cannot compromise her culinary art artisticness. True. <laughs> so, yeah, it's time for service. And they're offering... Pizza delivery! Ah! So, since the men lost, one of them is going to have to go and deliver the pizza. Guess who? Ben. Oh. And he's never even been to L.A. before, so... He doesn't know his way around. And he's got to do it in this clown call that Jean-Philippe <laughs> brought out. It was almost like a golf cart with, like with a hood on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, the women were off to a good start at the mm -hmm. service. But Matt was breaking all the eggs for those little quail egg things. Yeah. The appetizers and... Uh, you can't even crack an egg. Somebody had to take over for him and make those because it's not good. 
Back on the women's team, Roseanne was having trouble with the veggies to go out with the lamb wellington. They had to send the lamb without the veggies. They're like, we'll send the veg later. <laughs> that was pretty bad. Yeah. You donkey. Did anybody catch, uh, no, well, only if you live in New York, Chef Gordon Ramsay was on our local... Uh, Mike and Juliet. Mike and Juliet <laughs> show. It was fantastic. So, Jen helps get the red team back on schedule because Jen is of just the, like kicking ass the veggies. Lately. Yeah. So, Lou Ross was having trouble with the steaks. They were like overcooked on the outside and kind mm -hmm. of undercooked on the inside. So, Petroza totally cheated. Yeah. He took a knife and he cut a tiny sliver off the top and bottom of the offending steaks and Gee. made them good. I don't know. They passed the uh, the window. The sous chef Scott inspection. That's right. So Christina was having trouble with the desserts. Yeah, the souffles are a biatch. She was begging for help. Mm -hmm. She finally got uh, Gordon to get somebody to help her. And after two and a half hours, the men are finally working together well. Finally! So both teams <sighs> pull all their crap together and complete the service. That was amazing. Mm -hmm. It's very rare that you see services completed on Hell's Kitchen. Well, towards the end they usually yeah. do. There's no losing team this week. What? So Ramsey's like, alright, both of you need to go back and decide one person to nominate for elimination. That's right. So the men kind of had trouble deciding between Lou Ross and Matt. Yeah. They're like, Lou Ross is a little bit weaker than Matt, but Matt's annoying. <laughs> Matt's a freaking baby. Yeah. So the women, uh, they were going back and forth, but then they came up with Christina. Yeah, they at first they were going for Roseanne. Right. But then they passed Christina, like, on the uh, porch, and they were like, I'm voting for you. You're out. <laughs> so, <laughs> gee, what a way to tell her, you know? So Lou Ross versus Christina. And Chef Gordon says... No one's going home this week except for Nessa. <laughs> oh, so yeah, nobody's going home. That's cool. They signed up for a certain amount of weeks. That's and right. And they got to stick to that schedule. That's right. I mean, what else would they do? Mm -hmm. So next time. It's going to be crazy awesome. Oh, yeah. Hell's Kitchen has a super sweet 16 party. Oh, my God. And they have a live band and everything. It's going to be amazing. And a new chef joins one of the kitchens. That's right. I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's Julia from last season. I'm thinking season the very same thing. Was. I don't know. That would be awesome if it was. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking it's the same thing. But we'll have to tune in next week and find out. So till then, much, much love. love.